Hey guys, and welcome back to the Relationship Whisperer. On this channel, we talk about everything relationship, love, friendship, couples, couple lifestyle, heartbreak, how to avoid it, and God forbid it comes to you, how to deal with it. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like this video, leave a comment in the comment section, share this video with your friends and family, because I know they would like this type of content. So, in today's video, I'll be telling you guys five places you can meet an amazing woman. These places are sure. They are not sure, sure, but like they are, if on a scale of one to ten, they'll be like seven over ten. You can meet a good woman because there's a lot. Anyway, let's just get right into the video. If you're interested in this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep watching. So first off, you can meet a good woman anywhere, whether it's at a party, a club, or a hotel anyway but your chances of meeting good women in this type of places are very very low so that's why i'm making this video so you know that you can meet nice and amazing women in this type of places easily and also if you want to meet women in your tribe i think you should go like say for example you want to meet a woman that reads books a lot it's common sense to know that you should be probably go to a bookshop and watch out don't go and just pick somebody that's buying a book she could be buying it to gift it to a friend okay you want to meet somebody that is from your ethnicity somebody that's from your village you should go for village meetings go to the village christmas or whatever you'll meet somebody there okay but anyway let me just tell you guys this one that i've put together first is volunteering if you're going to volunteer for an ngo or you're going to volunteer at work or anywhere you can meet somebody there okay because for somebody to be volunteering it means that they're good because even you do you know what it takes to go and volunteer somewhere they're not paying you it means you're taking your time your energy your resources to go to that place so that means they're very dedicated people for them to be volunteering so and this doesn't mean that if she's volunteering, she cannot be a bad person. She may be a bad person. That's what I always say. Just because somebody is giving or doing a certain good doesn't mean that they, they don't have their own bad sides. Okay, but that's a good place to meet a good girl while she's volunteering. So look into it. So this second place I'm going to mention is very, very tricky. But it's a really nice place to meet a girl, which would be online, right? Not just dating sites. It could be Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, TikTok, YouTube anywhere right it's it's a really nice place to meet a girl because we put even if most times the life that we put online is make-believe is not real but to an extent we put our lives online so you can actually go through it that's where stalking now starts where you're stalking them you're stalking their family their friends everybody so you can see a snippet into their life from their online presence okay so meeting somebody online is also an amazing idea but you need to be very very um tactical about it you need to use your head a lot you need to like look into it properly don't just see beautiful pictures or see like beautiful aesthetics and think oh this is what it is no look into it very well and slide in that day this third one for nigerian girls or for nigerian guys i know they will say eh you want somewhere to go and spend money it's not about spending money you can meet a girl either in an eatery or in a mall or even in the market you see for people that don't have a lot to talk about this is a great place to meet somebody because you people already have something to talk about, right? If you meet somebody in the mall buying groceries or in the market buying food stuff or even groceries store in the marketplace, you guys have things to talk about. You can see something in her cart or see something in her bag and ask her, oh, what do you use that for? And that's that's conversation starter. That is a conversation starter. What do you use that for? You talk, she, she will tell you, ask something that is familiar to you. And you say, oh yeah, I also use that for this. And you put in a little conversation here and there. And before you know, you're already saying, oh, so um, can you give me your number so I can call you later and we can continue this conversation? Or I'd love to ask you more questions about this. You already have the number. You have, you have already started a conversation. And you people have already started off on a good note because you people already have something in common. Whatever it is that you might have picked the conversation on. So you see, it's quite easy to meet somebody in an eatery or in a mall or in the market. And the thing is, you must not pay. Because some people feel like, oh, if I say I'm buying food, I need to pay for the food to have a conversation with her. You must not pay. You people did not go there together. You did not go there to buy food for her. So if you meet a girl that feels like you need to pay for her groceries or pay for her food before you have a conversation with her, ah, I bought mission, just run away. But if you can pay because you want to pay, not because you're trying to get her attention, then do it. Next would be at a friend's or a family gathering. So this is for people who don't just like to meet random strangers. You like to meet people that have links to you or you like to meet people that you know other people know. You can go to family and friends gathering. If you're an introvert, you need to step out. You need to go out, okay? Go out, meet people, go to friends, 
to graduate, go to friends birthday parties, go to family birthday parties, go to weddings, especially weddings, go to weddings, go for thanksgivings, dedications, go for all these things. People come to those things and you can network and you can meet really amazing people. So these people already know your family or they already know your friends, so you're comfortable with them because they already know somebody that you know and you can ask information about them from these other people. So go out, mingle, meet people, meet your like just you need to go out. Okay, that's bottom line is you need to go out, not random going out. You need to go, you need to honor invitations. Don't just send money and say, Oh, I can't come, go for these parties. Your partner will just be there. So last but not the least on our list <laughs> would be the gym. You need no, you don't need to go to the gym. <laughs> I'm saying this too to reassure myself, but yeah, you need to go to the gym to stay healthy. But anyway, if you go to the gym, you probably have seen one very cute girl in the gym. Yeah. A very, a very cute girl in the gym or a fine girl. Fine girls go to the gym. Healthy girls go to the gym, right? Yes. So if you're looking for fine, healthy, keep fit kind of girl, because maybe you're a keep fit kind of guy, you, should, you will probably meet her in the gym, okay? So if the gym is a really, really nice place to meet a girl or sporting events generally. If you guys go for sporting events, in Nigeria, we don't have a lot of sporting events. Do they even run marathons? Yeah, they run marathons in Nigeria, but very few times. So if you run marathons or you 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 hike or whatever you can meet a girl while doing these activities and it's really good to meet girls while doing these activities because you know that you are not meeting a couch potato and trying to make her go to the gym with you or hike with you or go on these sporting events or run marathons with you you're meeting somebody that is in your tribe you're meeting somebody that loves to do what you love to do so this is an amazing idea Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please, let me even take... Please, if you've watched this video, please just subscribe to my channel. I beg you. Like this video. Hit the notification bell. So every time I post a new video, you'll be notified. They won't bother you. So if you're scared of getting notifications all the time, it's not a bother, okay? Um, Share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment in the com comment section so I can know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching my video. And until next time, bye.